Good morning, Washington. I'm Mike Kinnean. It's 827 making headlines today. We've learned that a man was killed overnight walking on the tracks of Metro's Orange Line. Tomorrow, President Obama will address the nation to shore up support for a limited airstrike on Syria. But today, a remarkable chain of events. Syria welcomed the idea of turning over all its chemical weapons for destruction. There's just one debate left centered on foreign policy, which many believe President Obama has a strong point on. How can Mr. Romney make up the difference with just a few weeks to go? And there were a bunch of guys, maybe six or eight guys, wiping down the glass, Policy making sure there were no smudges or fingerprints. The third party candidate for governor of Virginia has not gotten a lot of attention when compared to his Democratic and Republican counterparts. But the vicious campaign between those two frontrunners is giving some momentum to libertarian Robert Sarvis. There was a day of violence and fear across our nation's capital after a shooting rampage at the Navy Yard. The FBI says that Aaron Alexis had legitimate access to the Navy Yard with an a credible, a valid pass to get into the building. Tonight, emotional stories continue to pour into our newsroom. This morning, hundreds of workers were taken to Nats Park by bus where they were joyfully reunited with family and friends. Those workers are now recounting the terrifying moments inside the building and the overwhelming relief of finding their loved ones. The evacuation process still underway now 12 hours since the first 911 calls came in reporting the shooting. Breaking news from the White House where there are multiple reports of two loud pops going off earlier this evening. The Secret Service says a man threw firecrackers over the White House fence. These are images from the scene. We believe this man being apprehended was that suspect. The White House continues to warn that a military strike could still happen if Syria does not agree to dismantle its chemical arsenal. More breaking news out of the White House. A live look there right now. President Obama says he would put plans for airstrikes against Syria on hold if Assad's regime turned over its chemical weapons. Who is this Egyptian billionaire and how much money are we talking? How much did he contribute to the Romney campaign? The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 40 points today to 15,636. DDOT at this hour asking drivers to please avoid 18th and P Streets Northwest where a downed tree is causing some problems with traffic there. Hopefully people are getting the message that at this point it's probably too late to try to get ahead of this storm. Retired NBA star Dennis Rodman is heading back back to Korea and he says a team of former players will be joining him. The former Chicago Bulls star has been scrutinized because of his friendship with North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un. But Rodman insists the North Korean leader is a good person and that he, Rodman, can help promote better relations. The Orioles and the Yankees are in a tight battle for the AL wild card. No one delivery by Hunter at the wall. This ninth inning homer from Robinson Cano put the Yankees up 4-3, and it's a backbreaker for the O's. They eventually fall 5-4. But look again at these Baltimore fans celebrating over a souvenir ball after Cano's homer. Come on, guys, it's still a playoff race. She got a 10-minute standing ovation, was very emotional. Yeah. Do you think that there's maybe a future for your mom back on the sure. network? Who knows? Mom's got, uh, I'm sure their phone rings every day and say, bring Paula back. Residents and business owners around Logan Circle are planning a neighborhood summit to find a solution to a very big problem. Yeah, all in our yards, front yards, back yards. Might be time to adopt a cat. The local advisory neighborhood commission will host a rat summit next month to address the issue. The goal is to come up with a long-term solution for the neighborhood. That summit will be held October 17th at the Washington Plaza Hotel. You just solved it for the mic. I don't know why we're talking about it. Feral cats. <laughs> and you for know what they diet. say about jackrabbits. Oh, Lord. So it's is important like to Monty spay Python? or neuter them, oh. right? <laughs> yes, it is very important to spay or neuter them. I thought we were going into a Monty into the Python gutter, joke the rabbit gutter. <laughs> My finger is getting closer and closer to Mike's the mouth. Mike's just looking at me and grinning with this sly grin. It's about the same face. shade as that carrot. Yeah, Should yeah. Should I be concerned that I'm going to lose a digit? Yeah, I think he just might. Your mic's you know, not on. Hey, you know what? It's a train wreck right now because I was just holding all those bunnies and they peed all over my leg. Yeah. Did you just touch my shirt? That was great. <laughs> An animal sack is awesome. Which, you touched me with that hand. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I don't have bunny flu or anything. I, I just have bunny, bunny urine. Flu. It's a bra draped over the side of a house. And the artist who created it is a breast cancer it's survivor. so uplifting. <laughs> Bend your right knee. I, I wore antiperspirant today. I that's wasn't good. expecting that's to good. That's this. good. That's good. You can do it at home in any space, really. That's true. That's true. That's absolutely true. Although it's more fun with your friends. I'm already absolutely. starting to yeah. sweat. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Should I be sweating this much? Just yeah. uh -huh. spending over yeah. it? That's, that's the whole like. idea. There you go. pants are a little tight. There you go. There you go. We're not making <laughs> yeah. it easy yeah. on you. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell I'm We're sweating? Stretchy yeah. pants. I've only done three poses. Yeah. We'll learn all those details tomorrow after an unveiling event in California. I heard it weighs six pounds.
Are you joking? Really? No, it's wow. a rumor. It was at least six pounds. Much heavier. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Steve. Oh, Got people oh, watching right. us. Take a look at our uh, our seven-day outlook. It doesn't weigh six pounds. I was joking with you. And the show failed to bring in the ratings. You know what he's not saying today? Gio. That's what he says on the show a lot. That Gio. Would make, that would make sense if I watched, right? <laughs> so now the real question is, what will Ryan Lochte do? And who cares? Will and Kate are the first royal family wax replicas in the district. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of those replicas? I think her hair needs some curlers. Yeah, a little, little flat. Maybe a, you were maybe saying. a weave or maybe two. Maybe so. Okay.